Hey beautiful souls, Hannah here from Reality Awareness. Welcome to my live stream. If this is the first time that you've ever joined me live, say hi, let me know where you're from. I'd love to know where you're from in the world at this time with crazy ass things going on in the world that I really want to speak to in a way that Archangel Metatron came through really strongly yesterday in response to what's going on in the world. And I really want to share this about his message and what came through and just check in in general with how people are feeling about it. Because there's some kind of key points that I want to share here about this. Just in what I realized in myself and then what I'm seeing in the world and all that sort of thing. So, hey guys, say hi when you're joining live. Would love to know how you're feeling about it all. All right, let me just share this as always. But I don't want to hear my voice, even though I love my voice. <laughs> in a way, oh my goodness, how do I share this? Where, where do I, here we go. It's coming, all right. All right, so I'm pretty excited to share this. I was gonna do it yesterday and then yesterday was huge. <laughs> yesterday was a really big day. I don't know if it's because I was channeling Archangel Metatron or what was going on, but I don't know. Did anyone else feel like yesterday was really huge or was that just me? <laughs> so big. All right. Yay, shared. Okay, so the main things that I want to share, obviously, first of all, like Archangel Metatron came through with a really strong activation. So it's called the sacred geonometrics activation. And when I was like driving along and it was like, it was pouring through, like, you know, he was telling me all about it. And I was like, Ge geometrics. And he's like, no, geonometrics. And I was like, okay, <laughs> so I'm like, and then I'm Googling about it. I'm like, it kind of looks like a spelling error. It's not a spelling error. Geonometrics, right? So whatever that is, I don't know. But this meditation will activation. It's a very, very, very different frequency. It specifically focuses on bringing more oxygen into your body and your cells. And it's a very, very, very different feeling compared to my other, like, you know, um, meditations and stuff. Like when I was even like looking for the music, like I find the background music for it, right? And I'll just type in, you know, certain keywords. And I kept hearing this, um, you know, like type in a specific words. And I was like, oh yeah. And I was like wasting time basically. <laughs> and I typed it in, it was straight away. It was a one, of course, right? You want to like save time, listen to your intuition. <laughs> um, so, but it was like so strong. And then this, the sound, it's just a total different frequency. And I really wanted, like, like I said, I wanted to come live yesterday, but uh, I found, oh, so Olivia says, I was just going to hit play on an episode of Open Minds about channeling of Archangel Metatron. Oh my gosh. <laughs> How's that for a sign for you? That's so awesome. Oh, that's so awesome. So I should talk about Archangel Metatron first, right? So, well, Archangel Metatron, if you guys don't know, so Archangel Metatron is lots of purple. Like, so if you're seeing colors purple, um, even like, Oh yeah, he's associated with fluorite, so it's like purple and green. So especially if you, you know how fluorite is purple and green, green, green. <laughs> the crystal fluorite is purple and green. Yeah, they're Archangel Metatron's colors, and it's really about focus. Like if there is one word to describe Archangel Metatron, it's focus. Yeah, and Archangel Metatron's very very connected to sacred geometry, sacred geometry, sacred geometry. I can't even say it. I was like tripping myself up yesterday. Sacred geonometrics. Has anyone ever heard that word before? Like, it's so, he's so strong. He's like, no, it's geonometrics. And I'm like, okay. So, yeah, really, really interesting um, what came through. But if, you know, you're having str struggling, like, to focus or to keep out distractions, which is focusing, <laughs> Archangel Metatron is the one to call on. Like, he just helps you focus. He is awesome with children um, and really helps, like, especially, um, like, 
people and, and adults with ADD, ADHD, any of those, you know, issues which are just attention dialed into a higher dimension, you're super connected and we just need that focus to channel that higher divine creative energy when we don't have that. And that's why in schools, like a lot of kids are like, you know, hyper and oh, we need to like give them a tablet to, you know, sit them down. Like they're not designed to be sit, sit down. Like, do you know what I mean? I'm like, kids need to run. But not just that, it's because all this high frequency energy comes in and then they're like told that they can't do this and they can't do that and they're shut down. And so all this high frequency energy is like just kind of like hitting here and that's why they're running crazy and da 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 and they don't sit still or whatever, right? Because all that high frequency energy needs to be grounded, needs to be channeled. That's why like creative play is really awesome because it channels that creative energy, like painting or any creative project. Like, you know what I mean? There's so many things you could do, right? But it's about channeling that high frequency energy. So what's really interesting to me with Archangel Metatron coming through is about, you know, like we're shifting to a really high frequency, like the geometric, oh my goodness the magnetic field is no longer on the solar system. And the message I got shown this morning was about that in, you know, like, so that was like, I think December, was it November, December, that was when Pan Gregory, the astrologer had said, I think it was December, that the um, uh, the magnetic field was coming off the, um, uh, yes, I will, Richard, yes. Um, goes on my YouTube, yes. <laughs> the, um, the sacred, uh, the magnetic field has come off our solar system. That was in December. Now, you know, when I talk about these healing cycles, like six months, nine months, um, you know, like there's a nine month birthing cycle, like a mother gestates a baby for nine to 10 months. If we're birthing a new project creative cycle, it's about a nine to 10, nine to 10 month cycle, right? So I've got the message to remind you guys of that this morning and share that reminder that in December, the magnetic field came off our solar system. So I personally feel, and message came through this morning, that for the next nine to 10 months, so September, October, it's gonna be pretty rough, right? Because if you, I guess if you look at it, you know, like a gestating a whole new reality without that magnetic field, like we've never been on Earth, in Earth civilization, from what I'm aware of, what I've been, you know, learning about it, without the magnetic field on our solar system. Talk about birthing a new earth, right? And so when you can just keep that in mind, you know, and that's why, you know, all this is amping up and I feel like it's gonna get stronger and all that sort of jazz because we're literally gestating a whole new reality here. Like we're all just like, eek! Which brings me to what I really wanna talk about on this live stream about the world events, let alone what Archangel Metatron was sharing and the, um, what is it, the Archangel, Metatron. Let me put the link in the comments here while I'm talking. I've watched that before. The Archangel Metatron Sacred Geometrics Activation. It's like I said, it's a very different frequency. So only get it if you're drawn to, like if you're intuitively drawn to it, because it is a really different, you know, vibration and frequency that came through yesterday uh, when I did it. And I've kind of been listening to it on repeat because it's just like, woof, like it's it's very grounding. It's very, very different. And that grounding is really what we need at this time, um, you know, when the world's going into chaos, which again brings me to what I want to share about that. Because there we go, I just pinned that comment to the top there. That's the Archangel Metatron Sacred Geometrics activation. Because I've been breaking down in tears, like especially Thursday, a um, little bit on Friday as well, and obviously before then. And yes, I've got my own stuff going on. But the big part, you know, when I was like crying and then it, you know, and for me, right, what's going on, it's kind of like, what do I do? Like, where do I go? I don't want to be here, but where do I go? But, and then when I dropped deeper than that, it was about the world. And it was about like, how did we come to this? Like, how did... It's like, do you know what I mean? Like, I know logically, as I always say, it's got to break down so that we can create all the new structures and blah, blah, blah. Like, that's the logical, we know that. But underneath... It's like, how did we even get to that place in the first place, right? Let me have a look, so you can't get to that. Uh, it's coming up for me. It should be coming up, I'm not sure why it's not coming up for you. Maybe if you like quit out of the app and then grab the link, it should come up. 
Um, but yeah, so it's like the it was like this crying and this deep grief, which is so interesting. We're activating all our chakras. Now, like Uluru got reactivated, it's like it, you know, has activated the rest of the um like chakras, you know what I mean? And it's just like everything's being switched back on, right? And then when you think about it's so interesting, right? This is an interesting concept, just dawned on me. You know, like the, the magnetic field around our solar system. But then we take this, like that's being taken off. And so if you think about it, this is on the outside. This is the external world. This is the patriarchal masculine, if you may. And then we've taken this off or it's not on our solar system anymore, which is activated from the inside. So when you think about that and what's actually happening in the world, and now we're birthing a whole new reality where we come from the inside, inside out, instead of the outside in and consuming, we're now kind of in a different phase, which is kind of interesting, right? It makes, that makes a lot of sense. But there's a lot of grief that had been surfacing for me about the world. How did it even come to this? And I feel like there's a lot of like, um, oh, like it's like we're like, oh, it's all fine. But then like reality hits and we're like, is this actually really fucking happening? <laughs> like, do you know what I mean? It's like, and this is normal part of the grief cycle and grief cycle happens in change, like any change, whether somebody cancels on you for a coffee date or, um, you know, it's a big thing like what's happening in the world and we're kind of like, the biggest part about it is we feel powerless in a way, right? We feel powerless, we're like, we wanna help and we're like, yeah. And then it's kind of like, how did we even come to this? Like how did, how did people get so distant from perhaps reality in a way? I guess it is a reality and they're all realities, but from their natural state or all of that, and this is a process to coming back into the 100% definite about that, right? But it's really then tapping into like, you know, allowing yourself to feel the grief. And if you, you know, if you're feeling all this stuff and you're not sure and you're like, you know, like just don't take it out in your relationships. Remember that this is like purely world events. Don't want to channel that into relationships. Instead, you want to pull those relationships in to enable them to, um, what's the word, like support you and be the anchor you know, in a way, right? Remember, it's what's going on out there is really strong in the energetics. And this is why the sacred, um, the Archangel Metatron thing came through yesterday with that, you know, like it was unexpected. I didn't ask for it. It was just like, went to the gym and it was just tapping me on the shoulder and I was like driving to get petrol. And I was just like, well, okay, I'll do it when I get home. <laughs> it was just like constant. So sacred geometrics activation, like I said, only if you're intuitively drawn to it, because it's a very different, um, energetic frequency which is in alignment with the cocoon shedding of what's going on with our solar system like separating and enabling us to create a whole new system energetically we have to be able to receive that vibration and that's what this meditation and activation does right now the other little piece that i want to share about this whole world event thing is that as we can see there's a lot of people going into fear, in panic. There's a lot of stuff like that. There's also a lot of people just going, they know the truth, they can see the truth, they understand what's going on, but they also don't know what to do with it. And then there's a lot of people that are just still getting on with what their purpose work is because no matter what goes on in the world, they've always been doing that because they know the power of focus and we want to be over here because this is the solution, that this is all crumbling because we've been focusing over here for so long anyway, all right? Now... With those people who are conscious and maybe are like, but I don't know what to do. And I want you to be conscious that you might feel grief and all of that. Like, please let yourself feel that's so important um, because you'll be clearing stuff from your own life of all the stuff that's crumbling and changing and being in the past or whatever it is. Plus the reflection in the external world at the moment, right? Now, the other piece is I want you to be aware, and maybe you're already doing this, but it came through to share, is that people who are conscious, people who are light workers, whatever, right? Even if you don't do this stuff, right? This is the message that came through. It's like our job right now is to stay focused. <laughs> I guess it's Archangel Metatron's gift, right? is to stay focused on the solution. Yes, keep an eye on what's going. Yes, be aware. Yes, prepare, whatever, right? But don't get sucked into it, okay? Stay here, but with conscious awareness of what's going on, which is the epitome of what I teach in Trust Intuition, right? Because this, like the world always goes on, right? 
And when we're trying to like fight against it, we're just putting more energy over here. Yet the epitome of purpose work is to focus our energy on the solution. And the more we do this, the more this grows. And the more this grows, the more this shifts because we're here changing the vibration, right? So our job right now is to stay focused, but to hold space. Hold space for ourselves and our own grief and our own feelings and our own sense of powerlessness and our own, like whatever comes up, but then also for the world. Now, I don't expect you to sit there and go, I'm holding space for everybody and then collapse. <laughs> like, that's not what I'm talking about, right? I'm talking about whether you see people in fear, panic, whatever you see in the world, whether at the shops or online, or maybe you just feel it, right? And it's not like, oh, I need to fix you and I can help and uh, unless you're being called to do that, right? Trust yourself on this. But what I mean when I mean hold space is that we are grounded, centered, Archangel Metatron, the sacred genomics is like, like I said, I listened to on a repeat, I was like, this is so different, but I love it. This <laughs> is like, Ooh, right? And it's just so, it's really different. Anyway, that, you know, like sense of centeredness, groundedness, the truth that I seeing the bigger picture of everything that's going on, that is your, I don't know if the word's grounding, anchor point to hold space for everybody else, right? And again, it's not like oh, I need to hold space for everyone else and it's draining. It's that your vibration, your centeredness, your awareness of the big picture, your focus on your energy, on the solution and whatever you're being guided to do, even if that's just be present with all that is, right, is allowing you to hold that space and vibration. So if there's somebody in fear or panic or whatever, like, yeah, you can send them love. But what I find is a little bit more powerful than sending somebody love like that is actually imagining, seeing, knowing that they already have their internal compass connected into their intuition, into source, spirit, whatever. They've already got that. They already have that. Now, when you bring your conscious awareness to that inside that person, it number one takes the pressure off you from having to do anything. Okay, you're just conscious and bringing conscious awareness energy to the fact that they already have an internal compass, they're already connected to spirit, they're already being guided by their intuition, every thought, moment, it, all parts of it. They just might be unconscious to the connection that is already there. You don't need to do anything but bring conscious awareness to the conscious connection, yeah? To the fact that they're connected. And the fact that you can see the reality that they're unconscious of that connection. And then when you bring awareness to even that, there's the bridge and the gap that helps the seed of the consciousness start to flourish in the connection that's already there. Now, when you can do that for every person, you are doing your job as a light worker. It's a bit like when I say when we go to the shops and, you know, maybe it's a really heavy energy in the shopping center, right? Like if you sense it, then it's your duty to clean it up, okay? Because as a light worker, healer, all of that, you send certain energies for a reason. Now, again, I'm not saying you have to like go crazy, like, oh my God, I've got to like clean every shopping center, unless you're being called to do that. But it wouldn't feel like that if you were, okay? But you can put a waterfall of white light over the, you know, the doorway of the shopping center and you can feel, imagine, see all the shops, all the like shopping centers, all like every nook and cranny in the corner of every shop and whatever building, like structural thing full of light, and cleanse the energy like that. Or you could ask Archangel Michael or Archangel Metatron of 100% light to help you. Now, that again, is just like seeing a bit of rubbish on the beach or at the park and you pick it up and you put it in the bin. You don't walk past it. Sometimes you might get a call to go and do a big cleanup on the beach. But again, it's where you're being called, okay? So seeing people in fear and panic and stuff, you either stay focused or you stay focused and you also see their conscious connection reconnecting and you're aware and conscious of the unconscious connection and woof, there's the bridge that helps that seed of thought, intuition. You don't even need to say anything. This is you holding space with seeing the truth of the reality, the bigger picture that's going on in the world right now for yourself and for other people because maybe you forgot that you were also connected all of the time and it's not that we're never connected. We are always connected it is just our conscious awareness of that connection. That's why meditation and all the spiritual tools and yoga and all that sort of thing enables us to strengthen, strengthen the muscle of the conscious awareness of the connection that's always there. Yeah? 
Yes, we're being pushed to create our stability from the inside now. Yes, I'm going to share an article after I jump off this live stream. Um, someone had shared with me, it was like a, an article from a woman who's actually in, is it Wuhan? Is that how we pronounce it? Um, and she's like, it's all positive. It's all like, we've been stuck inside for weeks now and like we're now a, a closer bonded family and we're healthier and all this jazz, right? I'm like, oh, this is awesome. And <laughs> talk about coming from the inside out and drawing the resources from the inside out, which is confirming what I said about the magnetic field coming off the solar system. And instead of it being on the outside and we're drawing from it, it now has to come from the inside. And this is, and I want you to be aware these next nine to 10 months, so September, October, I feel like will be a process of this unfolding of like getting adjusted to a whole new energy frequency that is what it feels like to not have a magnetic field anymore and actually literally come from the inside out. We've all been working on like doing that stuff, but now we're actually like almost forced into it in a way. Well, a lot of unconscious people are in a way, if that makes sense. Um, what was I going to say about that? Oh, so, you know, because you can imagine, right, like I say, a, a newborn, uh, a, a new mother going through a pregnancy for nine to ten months, she's like adjusting all the time, right? And so I feel like this next nine to ten months without our magnetic field around our solar system anymore is adjusting like the whole time. Yeah, I really feel that that's, yeah, really strong about that. So... Yeah, Josephine says, no longer should we rely on outer sources to give us that stability. Yes, exactly right. This is creating that. This is reconnecting back to the conscious connection. This is, you know, big, like, stem on, I believe, personally, from the Uluru being reconnected and reactivated. Like, we're respecting what it's what it does. Like, not just that, but the symbol of what that is. Like, you know, it's a sacred space everyone was trampling on, and now... We're like respecting it. It's like the same inside. It's like this sacred space and everyone had forgotten about it. And now we're really deep inside there. Yeah, it's kind of interesting, right? So that's the messages coming through from Archangel Metatron with his sacred dynamic. So there's that activation. Like I said, it's a really different, so grounding in a different. It's not like, oh, let's ground down through the earth. It's like. It's not even that we're like up in the stars and it feels some more, more grounding than being on earth. It's kind of interesting, right? Really, really, really strong. So yeah, so the link is pinned to the um, comments here or you can find it below or you'll see it on my page or send me a message if you want the link for that. But it's a really strong, very different vibration coming through for Archange Archangel Metatron to keep us focused and allow that expansion and transformation that's going on on the planet right now in this crucial time, crucial time of awakening, yeah? Like, this is what it is. I always talk about this. You know, we, uh, the light comes through and, you know, the crown awakens. And then as soon as the crown opens and awakens and the light is enabled to come in, it activates the heart. And usually there's a lot of grief and stored pain and everything because we've been so shut down for so long, right? But now the light's coming in. There's a whole new frequency and energy coming into our entire planet especially for this next nine to ten months it's like I've been talking about in here and when we can allow ourselves to energetically physically vibrationally mentally spiritually emotionally adjust and allow these new upgrades this is like the new system that's being in, you know embedded on the planet right now that's being activated right there's always a light and a dark there's always that they're on the same end of the spectrum right the light then goes into the darkness and it comes back, you know what I mean? Like they're on the same spectrum, right? And so as, you know, the light expands, so does the darkness and you can see what's going on on the planet right now. Like the bandwidth expands, yeah? And our job is to enable this light frequency to be activated in our system for us to energetically hold the capacity for that frequency of vibration in our physical body, emotionally, spiritually. Sometimes that can come with a breakdown, right? Emotionally crying, like it's, it's all of it, okay? Because it's all on the spectrum, all the feelings, all the emotions, the light and the dark, yeah? So it's where are we focusing, Archangel Metatron, where are we focusing most of the time? Yeah, really, really strong message there. So you can check out the link or send me a message if you've got any questions. Remember, it's sacred geonometrics. It's different. <laughs> he was so adamant. It's like, no, it's ge geonometrics. I'm like, okay, <laughs> it took me a while to wrap my tongue around it as well. So 
yeah so you can check that out and trust intuition is open guys and so is the inner circle the inner circle is where you get access to it all so if you're in the inner circle you automatically get access to any new thing that i create any new course that i create any of that in the world in the world in the next 12 months the inner circle is where you get access to all my courses all my meditations everything i've ever created and will create in the next 12 months and then you also get that one-on-one -on -one access with me, which is unlimited access via WhatsApp. We can have phone calls, there's messages. I can do psychic readings for you, like back and forth all the time, as much as you need. I am there for you because as you shift, and the inner circle is the life purpose accelerator. This is where we take your life, your business, and your spiritual gifts and fine tune them and actually anchor in what you're doing here on the planet. Sometimes we can know we're sensitive, we know we have a gift, but we don't actually know how to bring that into the world or what that actually looks like or, yeah, right? So in the Life Purpose Accelerator, you get one-on-one -on -one access to me where we can hone in and fine tune. This is where you really amplify. This is like the closest you can get to me, right? So with the inner circle, you access to everything. Or if you just want to do trust and intuition, of course, you can just do trust and intuition and you join the tribe. There's fortnightly support calls, as you've probably heard me talk about. We go through some pretty deep and incredible stuff. There's also monthly psychic development classes in there as well when you're part of that tribe. So you can check out the links on my website or you can find um, the links as you scroll down as well or send me a message if you've got any questions about it. And if you're just joining, I think you need to watch the replay to see Archangel Metatron's really strong message that came through yesterday. It was so strong and I've been listening to it on repeat because it's just like, it's just totally different and really, really powerful. So yeah so remember to comment somebody's name below if you feel that this can help them or share it on your page if you're watching on youtube remember to like and subscribe and i shall see you guys really soon love you